to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Mechamon, sent over by Reach Robotics, in which if you want your very own, check out their link down below. Now, this robot here is one of the latest on the market in which it incorporates augmented reality with robotics. Literally, you can fight your robot in a fake world, in which you can go ahead and customize the weapons, as well as the armor, and so on and so forth. Now, it actually creates a really unique aspect in which it comes with a mat and it creates a world around you so you can actually see it in the camera from your phone while you're fighting. So it's actually very unique in which I'm excited to try out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here is our box in which it actually has a very nice looking appearance to it. Uh, on the cover itself, it does show the robot it's kind of standing ready for battle. Uh, almost looks like a really nice carrying case. Uh, the box doesn't explain much in terms of the robot goes. Uh, on this side here, you do see a nice looking picture art. Check that out right there. Uh, and you do get a nice looking handle so you can carry it wherever you want to go. So let's go ahead and slide this open. Alright, there you go. And then it comes off just like that. So it says right there, future is within reach, aka reach robotics. Uh, and then the cover itself over here shows Mechamon and it's a very unique looking logo. Definitely very nice, uh, really futuristic I have to say the nonetheless. So let's go ahead and slide the box off now and see what it looks underneath. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. Check this out. Uh, it says, welcome Mecha Pilot. So it's just kind of like says thank you for, you know, buying our robot and it's been in the works for over three years. So it's actually quite impressive in how long it's taken them to make this. Uh, here's our quick start guide. So, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> so this is uh, additional safety information. Uh, and then this talks about, you know, in terms of the battery itself, uh, weapons, as well as the be being able, oh, you can actually detach the arms itself on the robot. So that's really cool. So everything on it is really customizable. And then check that out. We have a nice looking poster. Whoa, definitely gonna hang that one up. So that's Panther 06, really cool. Uh, and then here is our mat. Now this here is for augmented reality, I believe. Yep, definitely our augmented reality map. Uh, so you just go ahead and lay that flat down just like that. And then uh, I believe you actually set the robot with his legs over here and then it'll actually create the environment around that. So really nice. So let's go ahead and put that back for now. And then let's see what's here. Oh, check this out. So it's got a nice looking image here. Uh, it looks like it's talking about the different details in terms of the robot itself. So it's got like a metal form core, uh, it talks about the chassis as well as the weapons. Uh, so we get the Fury Rifle with this one. Uh, and then, yeah, so let's go ahead and slide this up. And there's our robot, check that out. Whoa! Now that looks really neat. Uh, you can actually see the robot kind of sitting right there and then we got some nice looking armor plates showing. So the armor plates itself have like a, like a shield looking logo right over there. And I believe they just kind of clip right in. Uh, then over here we have some weapons. So these are here are little guns uh, in which I guess they have LEDs in them and they just kind of clip onto it. So when you like shoot they flash. Uh, and then here's our battery pack which is actually really neat because it comes part of the robot itself. Uh, versus other robots in which you actually have to put the battery inside and kind of hide it. Uh, and then we have our charging cable here on the side. So we get that too. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull out our robot. Whoa! <laughs> it's actually quite light, uh, surprisingly. Uh, so first thoughts, uh, definitely looks robotic. Uh, almost alien-like, I would have to say. Uh, you can see like it's got like gears as well as suspension work. You got these cool looking wires that are actually made out of cloth. Uh, the tip itself in terms of the legs are rubber, so definitely give you more grip as well as traction. Uh, it does have a good amount of reach, I mean look at that. So if you like extend it fully, it does get pretty tall, check that out. And it's actually standing on its own. So definitely very interesting. Uh, this here is like the head. Uh, it's got a lot of different colors and apparently they all snap on. So let's try this out. There's literally a button right over here. You just press that button down and just pull it out like that. Uh, and this allows you to go ahead and swap parts out as well as customize them as well as travel too. So it does give it a very unique aspect that everything kind of clips right into play. You just put it in like that and you're good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and lower it back down. There we go. And then let's go ahead and plug in our armor itself. So this here will just kind of clip in just like that. There we go. 
and you can always customize these armors too. So definitely if something they sell, uh, it makes it more unique and you get your own creative aspect in terms of robotics go. So let's plug in the weapons now. Uh, these here just kind of clip in just like that. Uh, it's actually got three different ports, so I imagine you can actually get a bigger cannon or something of that nature, which would probably make it more customizable in which you can play in the game as well. So let's plug that one too. There you go. And then lastly, let's plug in our battery. Oh, so the LED just went on. And just kind of started standing. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> and this thing is ready to fight! <laughs> Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and open up the app here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and kind of demonstrate it first in terms of the functionality. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and try it out in terms of the campaign mode goes. And then we're going to go ahead and battle it out against another Mechamon. So we're going to click on Guess for right now, just so we can get a better idea on how everything works out. So, uh, after a few brief updates as well as upgrades, our Mechamon is ready to go. <laughs> You can see that he's ready to battle as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on this here. This will just kind of connect our Mechamon. So we'll connect and we're currently binding and we're ready to fight. So just to kind of give you an idea on how the whole movement of it works, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Drop Zone before we do the campaign mode itself. So this is Drop Zone and Drop Zone allows you to actually control the robot to the full extent. By which I mean you get the full ability to control him in terms of movement as well as animations and different functions such as body height, stance angle, even stance distance as well as the different custom steps for the height as well as duration and shift. Now you can control the speed of the robot so you can go really fast as well as really slow. So depending on what you want to do you can control it over different kinds of terrains such as carpet, laminate as well as tile. Now, in terms of movement goes, the controls are quite simple. So you have the control where you can move forward, as well as back. Uh, you can have move left, as well as right. <laughs> so you can see he's quite responsive. Uh, we can also have him rotate. You can have him rotate the other way. And then in terms of the controls itself, we can change the height. For instance, if you want to go really high up or really low. High, low, and then uh, you can actually do it slowly as well as when you go down. So kind of gives you an idea on how that works. In addition, you can do stance angle. So a wider stance angle would give us a motion like that versus a shorter one will give us something like this. So it's quite interesting in how they designed that. So let's go ahead and restore back to default. Now in terms of the speed itself, you can control the walk speed. So for instance, this is really fast. So. <laughs> uh, so we can actually control the step as well. So we can do a higher step duration. So let's try that. Whoa, this thing is really fast. Uh, we can even do it faster than that. So it does give you an idea on how this robot functions. So you can always create your own different animations. Uh, for instance, uh, we have some set animations as well. So this here uh, is Big Win, as you've already seen. And then you can just click on this button here and you can actually select on different ones. So we have a few different ones, uh, yawn, push up, stretch leg, bow, uh, wiggle, uh, react, and among other things. Uh, so let's just kind of go through all of them here. So we're just gonna select on power down first. So that's powering down. Okay, and then, <laughs> all right, so he's back up again. We can change it to uh, death. Now, so that was death. <laughs> Fire. All right. So that has to do with the game itself, in which when you play, you know, shoot like a missile or a uh, laser beam, etc. Uh, this here is hit three. So that's him getting hit. Offensive launch. Pretty cool. Idle temper. <laughs> like almost like taunting him. A surprise. <laughs> Let's try yawn. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, 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 it's contagious. Uh, front leg stop. Pretty cool. A push up, let's try that. That was push up. Let's try stretch legs. Itchies, try that. Uh, this is bow. Ah, pretty cool. Stretch two, stomp right, stomp left, wiggle, react. Uh, different bow. Oh, fire hydrant. Hmm. Try that. So he's pretending to be a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. That's hilarious. That's awesome actually. So it kind of gives it more characteristics. I think these are all different uh, things here. So about greet, we have a missile, we have reboot, backfire, wiggle jump, front leg stomp, dramatic death, full flip over. Whoa. Uh, let's try that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try full flip over. <laughs> and you can always just move it at the same time. This thing is really fast. Um, so besides that, I mean, there's a happy prince. Let's try that. Definitely seems happy. <laughs> So besides that, there's other things we do. So for instance, gate. So crawl will actually change like the walk pattern as well. Uh, so literally if you move it, you know, it's kind of change the way these legs are moving. So that's quite interesting. Uh, and then we have cinematic stance. So let's try this. Mm, so this is <laughs> pretty fancy. Uh, mimic. So depending on if you connect to another robot, it'll actually mimic it. Uh, then this is linear, and then this is cinematic, so that's back to what we're at. So it kind of gives you an idea on how the actual drop zone works and the functionality of the robot as well as its potential. So let's just go ahead and click on back now, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and try out Mechamon Universe. So we're going to just start off with a simulator mode. Uh, this will give us uh, almost an AR combat training and kind of like play into the game itself where you fight against other robots uh, defending your base. So let's click on that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay down the mat just like this. Okay, and then we're gonna take our Mechamon and put his feet right there. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the game. All right, and then we're going to click on simulator. Now we're going to go ahead and calibrate our Mechamon. Uh, this will give us a better idea of how the, the gyroscope works on it, just to give it a better movement in terms of how this thing's going to work. So there we go. And we're ready to fight. So I'm going to go ahead and click the weapons that go with the robot itself. So we'll click on control deck. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go towards my robot, click scan. There we go. And we're ready to fight. Oh look, here's our target. So let's go ahead and maneuver our robot. I'm gonna shoot at him. Go after him. Out of range. There he is. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh! No, 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 I'm taking bad hits. Oh, snap! Got him. Alright, so that's the first wave. I'm gonna go ahead and select my power up for me. There you go. Right, where are these guys at? Oh, uh, there's a bad guy spawned right there. Go around the building. There you go, I got a good line of target. Firing. Use my special attack right there. 
design setup of this and how it all functions. Actually a lot of fun to be honest. Uh, so let's click on quit for now. All right, so another thing we can do is arcade games. So this is Mechamon Arcade, uh, in which it does augmented reality me uh, meteoroids. So let's click on that. So we're calibrating it and then these are the different levels. So we'll just start off with medium for right now. Uh, and then let's go ahead and scan our robot by going to the blue dot just like that. There you go, and we're ready to play. So this will control the movement, so we gotta get in the center. All right, there you go. And uh, I guess we have a meteorite coming right there. So this will control our missile, so let's try that. You have to get direction straight ahead. There you go, yes! Right for round number two. the arcade system works so let's just go ahead and quit uh, so that's augmented reality meteoroids so definitely a lot of fun you know kind of gives it another spin on in terms of Me uh, Mechamon itself 
Uh, so we just did the AR combat training and then there's the art archive as well. Uh, so we can take like a virtual tour of uh, Mech Academy uh, and then learn more about the story in terms of the robots itself goes. So this here is a virtual reality tour. Whoa, <laughs> check that out. So this here is... Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat actually. <laughs> so this here is our academy. Really crazy looking. Cool, you got like a little stadium over here. And then a few other things as well. Really neat. So quite interesting, you know, like the augmented reality portion of this thing. Um, and how they designed that. So let's go back. So with that being said, let's try out battle mode. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and select our robot here. And then we're going to go ahead and click on host a game. And we're going to go ahead and connect another robot and see how this all works out. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do a battle. Uh, now the way it works is it doesn't use the camera itself. But in reality, you just go ahead and fight the two different robots against each other. And you'll actually see their reactions based on that. So we went ahead and created a game here between the two. Uh, you ready? All right, so let's start. Three, two, one. All right. So I'm the one on the bottom, just so you guys know. I'm gonna use the fire again. Ah. So it's more about using your weapons than anything. So I just use that right there. Systems overload. That's what's going on there. My mechamon is overheating right now. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well that kind of gives me an idea of what battle is about. Uh, it would be kind of interesting if they can incorporate the camera and actually seeing the missiles flying at each other. But overall it does make it more interactive and you can technically fight anywhere you go. Alright, well there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you had any questions about Mechamon, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.